Right. So today I'm going to be talking about that time I started a gang in middle school. Now, bear in mind, this happened like forever ago, so I'm filling in some of the details. This is all roughly based on what actually happened. And when I say gangs, I don't mean that we were like selling drugs or anything. We didn't really know what a gang was since this happened like in middle school. Early middle school too, it wasn't even like late middle school. So I use the term gang like loosely here. Anyways, uh, I'm getting distracted. If you are new to the channel though and you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe. It's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. Anyways, so I started a gang in middle school. Now, I was actually in a gang before I started a gang because it, it's a little confusing. Pretty much what happened was there was this guy named, uh, I don't know what to give him as his name. I guess he, his name would be Big C. So Big C here, right? He starts, he has this great idea, Pink Gang. So pretty much the idea behind Pink Gang is, is everybody swears a pink sticky you know, and they have like different ranks and we're just all mates, right? We just hang out on the playground. And originally there was only one gang, but it got really popular. After like nearly 10 people were in Pink Gang, this little gang called Red Gang popped up. Now, they changed names actually a few times. They were Red Gang originally, then they turned to White Gang, and then eventually they became Blue Gang. So Pink Gang and Blue Gang, right? Pink Gang was the gang I was originally in, with the leader being Big C, and it was the OG gang, if you would. And then we had Blue Gang on the other side, the stinky, oh my god, I don't like, I don't like them. <laughs> so pretty much we were rivals, and obviously there was a bunch of other little gangs, because for some reason, the idea of being in a gang was really popular. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why. And I was, um, like a commander, if you would. Pretty much I would lead, like, gang members into battle. And the idea was, is, like I mentioned before, you have a sticky note on your shirt, and that represents what gang you're on. You're in, I mean. And whatever color it is, is, like, represents what gang you're in. And pretty much the idea was, you rip up other gang members, um, sticky notes to, like, kill them, and then they can't get another sticky note until the next day. So I led several missions, tearing up other gangs' sticky notes. I would ambush Blue Gang, there was this one gang called Purple Gang that we got ambushed by. It was a lot of fun. Now the Parapros, or the people that watched us, the... Pretty much, they are called Parapros, where I was at. They're, they were the recess people, right? They watched all the little munchkins at recess and made sure that we didn't kill each other. And since that's exactly what we were trying to do, they really did not like what we were doing. So we had a lot of problem with the the fuzz, if you would, the cops trying to catch us. And if they saw you walking around with a sticky note on your shirt, you knew you were in trouble. Now luckily this wasn't too big of an issue because pretty much everybody was in a gang back in 5th grade. It was early middle school, late elementary school. There was always um, people in a gang and there was always teachers running around yelling at people for beating the crap out of each other and ripping up sticky notes. It was a really dumb idea, I don't know why we did it. Oh man, it was so fun. Now there was this one big event that happened during all this that really stuck out to me. So all of this started at the beginning of the school year back in August. And it all had been like building up all the way up till spring. That spring, it all came to a climax with the Great Gang War. As I had mentioned before, I had started a gang. And at this point, I was still in Pink Gang. I had been Pink Gang for pretty much the entire school year. I was a dedicated Pink Gang member. But I got sent on an espionage mission. My goal was to rip up Blue Gang's leader's, um, sticky note. Which is something that would be a really big deal since they have like a special sticky note with like stickers on it and stuff. If you could rip up the gang leader's sticky notes, it would make a big deal. Don't, don't ask me why, it, it, it just made a big deal. I was given a blue sticky note, and at this point they already knew I was a pink gang member. But it wasn't uncommon since we were all in middle school, or elementary school, whenever the fuck this happened. It was really uncommon. No, it was really common for people to just switch gangs constantly, depending on what your favorite color of the day was. I walked to the trees where um, Blue Gang hanged out, and I was officially a Blue Gang member. But on my sticky note, in like little parentheses, it said actually Pink Gang. So I started talking to the Blue Gang um, leader, and we were actually all good mates because, I mean, it was a really small school, so we all really knew each other. And I was talking to him, and we were talking about Pokemon cards or whatever. So, I'm like slowly inching closer to him, and he says, wait a minute, what, what does that say on your um, sticky note? I don't remember actually giving you a sticky note. I was like, oh, you know, you know. <laughs> and I jump at him to try and grab his sticky note. Well, it didn't go well, because his goonies that were right behind him, they grabbed me, and they ripped up my sticky note. Now, this made me angry, because when I came back and told him that I failed the mission, I wasn't immediately given a sticky note, even though I'd been with, with picking... Even though I had been with Pink Gang the entire time. 
So I was like, okay, enough is enough. I've started my own gang. Green Gang. I started Green Gang. Now, the idea behind Green Gang was, um, unlike all the other gangs, which were mostly just anybody can join and they want as many people in their gang as possible, our gang, it was consisted of like five people. The idea was we all knew nobody would betray each other, so we didn't have to worry about inside jobs like what I had just done. So, my fellow friends in Pink Gang, my fellow Pink Gang members, I made them um, green cards and I gave them to them. We'd actually discussed the idea of betraying Pink Gang before. Now it's officially time. I started a green gang, and we broke off from pink gang, but we wanted to do it in style. So, when I was sent out on patrol to mess with the blue gang members, me and some of my fellow pink gang members and a few of my fellow green gang members went out. And on our way back from the mission, I, well, we, uh, we jumped them. We ripped up their cards and we ran off. We were officially our own gang. I ripped up my pink gang card, and with my new green gang leader card, it was time. Now obviously, Pink Gang did not like this. So they got really mad at us and they started sending people after us. But since Blue Gang also did not like Pink Gang and we were against Pink Gang at the time, I went ahead and talked to the Blue Gang member, I mean leader, the guy who I just tried to rip up his card. And we set up a thing where we would um, pretty much just bomb rush Pink Gang. And we did that for a little bit. But um, remember how I mentioned Purple Gang? Well Pink Gang went ahead and talked to Purple Gang and they Try bomb rushing us. Now remember, this is all on the playground. When I say bomb rush, pretty much everybody had like their own little um, like little hangout areas. And we would just get like waves of little fucking ankle biters. And we would rush each other, just throwing ourselves at each other's bases, trying to rip up each other's cards. Now that might sound like an exaggeration, but I remember there was playing of wrestling, biting, punching. I mean, it was a violent mess. And there was nothing, nothing the teachers could do about it. They could write us up and send us away for the day. But that, that wouldn't matter because as soon as we got back, we are back at it. Now this conflict went on for like a week, right? Which is a really big deal because this was like the only big battle that happened between all the gangs. And at this point, um, Purple Gang, which was only like a few members big, had been wiped out. We had just completely destroyed them. All Everyone was forced to surrender or join some other, somebody else's gang. And our goal was to um, talk about peace. Honestly, I do not understand why any of this happened. I just think it's funny to talk about. But pretty much, we sent up we set up a peace meeting between me, Big C, and the Blue um leader. So um we'd met on a Tuesday morning. We had talked in the previous Monday, and I had talked to the Pink Gang leader. And the idea was is that we would actually jump the Blue Gang leader at the meeting. It's because I was not afraid to backstab people. Because I had originally backstab Pink Gang. Now I was prepared to backstab Blue Gang. So the meeting rolls around, and we're talking to them, I don't know, about Pokemon cards or whatever. Um, I don't know, we get around to talking about what we're supposed to be meeting up about. And Blue Gang thinks that they actually have the upper ground because they think that I'm on their side, when in reality I'm on Pink Gang. So, Blue Gang plays their card, and they're like, okay, well, this isn't going well. And they're like, okay, help me jump them. I'm like, yeah, yeah, about that. And then me and um, um, Big C, we jump Blue Leader. And the thing about Blue Leader is is that he's a little bit of a shifty fellow, right? So he planned on backstabbing me. And the rest of his gang, plus Purple Gang, just jump us all. Now luckily, Pink Gang and my gang were close by. And after all the fighting was done, all of the gangs except for Pink Gang, the original gang, had fallen. Alright, so this is the point in the video where I'm supposed to lecture you, right? And I'll keep it short and sweet. Subscribe, like, and comment below that you made it to this point in the video so I know that you're really cool. I have some pretty big videos coming up in the future, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Uh, bye.